I, Elf here, and in this video you'll be learning about two inventory tracking systems, periodic and perpetual. Let's first remind ourselves about inventory. Inventory is a finished good that merchandisers buy today so they can generate revenue by reselling it to their customers tomorrow. Inventory is most often a current asset because it's sold in the upcoming year or operating cycle, whichever is longer, but that really depends on the industry the merchandiser happens to be in. Considering their business model, what would be a key success factor for merchandisers? Selling products is a very competitive business. Customers want not only the best price, but they want it now. If it's not on your shelf, they'll go to your competitor. Recording and tracking inventory is therefore a key success factor for merchandising businesses. There are two inventory systems that can be used to record and track inventory. The periodic inventory system and the perpetual inventory system. Let's start with the periodic system. Periodic means happening occasionally, at set intervals. To demonstrate the periodic system, let's use an example. Say you're a retailer and you purchase 25 units of inventory on June 1st, and then another 52 units on June 16th. Using the periodic inventory system, you record both purchases as increases to a purchases account. The purchases account is where you track your inventory. Now you know how many units you've purchased, a total of 77. Say you sell inventory throughout the whole month. What do you record when you sell the inventory? You record the sales revenue and the cash increased or accounts receivable increasing, but the purchases account will still show 77 units. Inventory sold is not removed from the purchases account. What problems does this create? Well. If you want to know how many units are left in inventory at June 30th, you will have no information about that. If you want to know if you should purchase more inventory at the end of June, you can't find that out by using your inventory tracking system either. You have to walk around your location and count what you have in order to figure out what you need. Gross profit margin is selling price less the cost of your inventory. Since you don't have information about the cost of the units sold, you can't calculate this either and you therefore don't know if you're profitable or not. So, how do you find out all this information? Periodically, like on June 30th, you have to count your inventory. In this case, you discover that you have 26 units remaining. You bought 77 units, remember 25 plus 52, and you only have 26 remaining, so 51 are gone. The question then becomes, did you sell all of those 51 units or were some stolen? Actually, when you use the periodic inventory system, you assume that all the inventory gone has been sold. That's because using this system, you have no way of knowing whether items have been stolen since you never track decreases in inventory when you sell it. Let's summarize the periodic system tracking of inventory. Using the periodic inventory system, you record all of your inventory purchases, but you only track sales through the sales revenue account never through the purchases account. Instead, you count your inventory periodically at the end of the period to discover how much is left. When you take your purchases and deduct your remaining inventory, you determine how much is gone. Because you don't have any way of checking, you have to assume that what is gone has been sold. Using that information, you can now calculate the gross profit margin, which is sales less the cost of inventory. But this is only done periodically at set times during the year. Why would anyone choose to use the periodic inventory system to track their inventory when you can see that there are negatives? Because it's cheaper. You spend less time and less labor on continually keeping up the inventory records. It is also cheaper because you don't need a complex computer system to record all your inventory purchases and sales. You can get by using a simple cash register. It is also a much simpler system to maintain. So. There are both advantages and disadvantages to a periodic inventory system. In the next video, we'll explore the perpetual inventory system.